Okay. Uh, so, welcome to Tennessee's News, and we're here with Mr. Bayer, and we're going to discuss about NHS and so. Uh, how do you get in NHS? Um, well, in order to get into NHS, you have to have a GPA of 3.5 or higher, and has to be your cumulative GPA. Um, so there's actually like a letter that goes out that lets students know like they qualify for that. And the ones that receive that letter have to fill out a form that describes like whether they're qualified in the other areas, and those are um, from their service, their leadership, and their character. Um, those forms are due on September 30th, so we need to make sure they get them completed and turned in. And then there's a like a council of faculty members that may interview those and decide who is then accepted. Uh, and what is NHS? Um, NHS stands for the National Honor Society, and again, it's this organization that's known throughout the world, but especially in the United States, of uh, students that are dedicated to kind of uh, striving for excellence in those character categories. Uh, and what what kinds of do, things do you do in NHS? Um, probably the, the biggest thing that we're known for is the International Dinner and Talent Show. It's a big event that we uh, kind of help put on and organize. But um, last year we partnered with uh, Mr. Eve School, and we were able to bring the kids here twice throughout the year to play with them on the playground. Um, this year I'm not sure which organization we're going to partner with, but we'll try to do some sort of like service activity with that. Um, each individual member is expected to do individual service kind of uh, throughout the year on a regular basis. Um, we do have uh, meetings every other week, and we're going to try to maybe do some other things related to scholarship and leadership as well. Okay, so uh, thank you. Uh, so thank you guys. So, this is SES News. We're here with Mr. Ferris. We're going to talk about um, Student Council. So, uh, what is Student Council? Student Council is a group of students in every class who have been selected as class leaders, uh, and they help organize class events, they help uh, collect money that will eventually go to. Um, like the Junior Senior Banquet or Lanzi Mento or other stuff like that. Uh -huh. uh, and how do you join Student Council? The first step in joining Student Council is to submit an application for LIT, the Leaders and Training Program. And, and on that form, you can actually select that you want to be uh, considered for a class council member. Once you submit that form, then you're put on the ballot for class council. And then the classes get together, uh, so like all of ninth grade will get together, all of 10th grade will get together, and they vote on four representatives. Okay, and uh, what do they do? What, what's, what are some of the important things that they do here in the school? Well, one of the first things that they'll do is they'll get together. Every class also works with the class advisor, who is a teacher or another staff member who helps the class council for that particular grade. And so the first thing they'll do is they'll get together and they'll kind of divide up their responsibilities and, and what each member of the class council is going to do. And then they start working on behalf of the class, planning events, uh, collecting money, um, doing whatever it is they think that, that needs to be done in order to make their class better. Okay, uh, so that's all. Thank you very much. No problem. Hey, I'm here with an exclusive interview with Kelvin. Kelvin is part of the Prefect Board, and I'm here to ask him what part of the Prefect Board and what are his plans for this year? Um, I'm a member of the Advancement Prefect Board, and um, yeah, so our plans for this year are to raise funds for the school, um, build school spirit. Yeah. I'm here with an exclusive interview of the one and only Lisa Ramirez. Lisa is part of the Prefect Board, and we're here just to ask her some questions about what part of the Prefect Board and what are your plans for this year? Uh, I am a senior Prefect, and what I will be doing this year is being in charge of all the class events and the promotion, lanzamiento, solving everything there is to do. So, yeah. Well, thank you. So, hello. I'm here with Gao Sirien. He is part of the Spiritual Life community for the Prefect and he's going to tell me what are his plans for this year. Thank you, Kim. As he says, Spiritual Life Prefect with Seb Maria and I. We are in charge of chapel and our goal is to try to find a better way to encourage a spiritual vibe in the school. How deep is your love? Is it like the ocean? What devotion?
here we are with Ms. Oltoff, the soccer team coach. Um, just here to ask you a few questions, Ms. So, um, how do you feel about the team of this year? I feel really good. We've had practice um, for about a week and a half now, and I'm really excited about the girls who have come out. And we have a bunch of new middle schoolers who have uh, come out to play, which is nice, which will build our program uh, through the years. And uh, even though we lost a few players from last year, we have a lot of players who have really stepped up, even in this week and a half so far, and seen how much they have grown and how determined and dedicated they are makes me really excited. Alright, that'd be it. Thanks. Good morning everyone. Here we are with Sarah, one of our varsity soccer players, and we're going to ask her some questions. So Sarah, how do you feel about the upcoming tournament? I'm very excited. Um, we did. Uh, Becca, Christine, Sarah, and Kathy. Some of them left the college. Kathy left the Notre Dame. Um, so obviously they were very important play players in our team. But I think that we had practice the other day, and I think that if we work hard, then we can um, achieve a lot of things this year. So I'm actually pretty excited. A um, lot, of, lot of potential, and also um, just soccer in general, the coaches. We all love it. We're like a big family, so I'm just really um, happy to be back there, back on the field with my sisters. So how do you feel about the freshmen now going to the board school? Um, I will actually mention Gassia. Um, she's a really, she's really good. So I'm actually really excited. And there's some other freshmen that are actually look really good. So I'm actually excited to have them. Um, hopefully, uh, we have we're having tryouts now, but hopefully they can make it to um, the varsity team because I really want them on our team. They're really good. <laughs>